I consider metabolomics really as the canary of disease pathophysiology because it's very close to the phenotype. The genotype actually gives you long term, but the phenotype, the biochemistry, is what's going on today. To put very simply, metabolism is essential to life. Since the high school, I was always interested what is the composition of food, what is the composition of the human body. We have done studies where the metabolites are appearing earlier or changes metabolically you see earlier than, than for example with proteomics. Combine known pathways and known compounds with novel compounds and novel pathways. If you're trying to find something and you're looking at a limited range of targeted things and it's not there, you're never gonna find it. Based on the biological question or the disease you study, you know roughly where to look at. Looking also the small alleys and valleys and streets that are not the interstates of metabolism. Sugar phosphates, dipeptides, tripeptides, lactic acid, uh, fumaric acid, the acetylspermine or TMAO. Modified amino acids, uh, we call those epimetabolites. Small organic acids and nucleotides. Acetylated, methylated, maybe hydroxylated. This is uh, quite important not to be biased just only by one specific class or just one single metabolite. You will only hear more such examples where metabolism and metabolomics uh, are being used to explore different aspects of biology.